this topic to this text, the time has come. You in the room? Paul was on 2,000 years ago. What do you want me to celebrate? said, as time comes. What church won't seem like church. Amen. And I just want to tell us this day, as we install the other, that that time has come. Y'all pray with me, and I'll try not to hold you over 15 minutes. All right. Amen. 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 My brothers and my sisters, and especially to the pastors, preachers, and moderators that's present here for this occasion today, mm -hmm. I would say to us, if there ever was a time that preachers need to preach, that time is right now. Yeah. It's, it's no time now for putting on a show. Talk now. No time for playing in the pool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Too many folk are on their way to hell. And playing is going on in the pool. I, I don't stand on Sunday morning. I, I, I do not study a week long. And then sit down on Thursday and Friday and Saturday night. And start putting a message together to stand in the pool pit at New Mount Cellar. Yes, sir. And entertain folks. I've learned a long time ago about preaching sermons that make folks feel good when you're not living good. I'm about to pass here. Yeah, I can say what I want. Because I'm going back to the fed in a little while. This world is in trouble. And the church is being made a mockery of. My, my, my. I'm tired of seeing folk dancing in the church. And the kind of dancing that I see that they call holy I saw it in a nightclub before I came on the Lord's night. My Lord. The reason that, that, that if we ever needed to preach, oh, yes. the time now is because when you look at what's going on in the world, there's yeah. some preaching need to be done. Yeah. For paying each other. Mm. For no reason at all. Yeah. Folks lying on one another yes, yes. simply because they don't have nothing else to do. Yes. Time for when you are in other folk business, yes. when you are more in other folk business, when you are less in your business, yes. it needs some preaching. Yes. When you are in somebody else's home, Trying to straighten out that your house is torn down. <laughs> we need some preaching. Yeah. Yeah. My brothers and my sisters, when I look at the world yeah. and look at all that's going on, mm -hmm. it bothers me greatly. Mm -hmm. But what really bothers me. Is when I look in the church and see what's going on in God's house. We are doing stuff in all of these churches that I know God looked down from on high and just shake his head. 
Amen. My Lord. We, 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 we can't talk any kind of way. In God's truth. We can't do what we want to do. In God's church. In God's church. When God called Moses to go down into Egypt, out there on the backside of the desert, as you were watching that bush that was flame but would not burn up. Talk about that. Moses got close to it where God could talk to him because sometimes God can't talk to us in the place of it. The, the station where we are. And we have to get our attention some kind of way to move us. When he got Moses' attention, he told Moses to pull your shoes off. Because the ground that you're standing on holy is ground. holy ground. And I came down to Mount Gilead to tell somebody you need to pull your shoes off. Because the ground that you're standing on is holy ground. And I'm not talking about that size 11 or size 8 that you're wearing on your feet. But I'm talking about that nasty attitude that you walk around with. You need to put it on. Put it on, brother. You walk around looking down your nose at folk. You need to put it on. My brothers and my sisters, it bothers me. When folk come in the church on Sunday morning with a desire to worship and praise God because he's been so good to him. And don't you sit up in here like God ain't been good to him. He's been good to all of us. Folk so have a mindset to come in the house to worship God the time they walk in the house. They got to confront somebody who think that they are doing God a favor by being here. And you don't know whether to speak to them or keep on walking. The church is a holy place. In a time that we're living in now, it's got to be some preaching. God on. Yeah. Dear, I heard you said unto me for several years. That's right. 